yo what's up you guys welcome back to another video today's video we're going to talk about how potentially over 2,000 people might have blew the account through the month of august for maps to saho now you guys know that i've done many reviews on his signals and i've always said that he's one of the good traders in south africa but august has been the worst month for him hitting the most stop losses that i have ever seen coming from him um so if you haven't watched the previous videos i've done on him please don't don't come and say oh you only talk but no I've, I've done some very good videos on him unfortunately this week this month has not been that good and we need to speak about it in case people want to join it next month but before we get there guys i do want to talk about today's sponsor which is fastball they have just launched their new fastball services now that also includes top traders that means you can now copy signals from top traders around the world and it's so easy all you have to go do is go to the top traders uh you know site choose a trade that you want to copy click copy and then you just link that's it click mt4 look for the broker that you use add your account and there you go start copying quick fast and the best part is it's absolutely free they also have updated their new section so if you go to products you go to economic calendar they also now added some updated news data that you can use on the calendar so you can view yesterday's tomorrow's next week the week thereafter you can even select what date of news you want to check out and you can also select which news events you want to check but guess what do you want to learn more about uh, south korea isa's market manufacturing all I have to do is click on that logo over there and guess what? There you go. Now, don't forget to also offer premium charting services at zero cost for you as well. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Go and check them out, guys. Fast bull to the moon. And yep, go check them out. Please go check them out. They are free and very, very useful in terms of resources as well. Now, how did I get about uh, over 2,000 people potentially blowing their accounts? Well, Maps has got 3,000 people in his group right and that 3000 people yes guys we're still gonna select the winner don't worry i know you guys are just here you know waiting for me but we're gonna select the winner okay don't worry so he's got over 3000 people in the group he's per signal it gets an average of 2000 views per signal that means about 2000 people had taken the signals right and that is how we've concluded that if you count the amount of stop losses triggered for this month it has been very very it's been a lot right but one thing i do want to add though is that if everybody followed these signals alone for this month then there was a big possibility they would have own blown their account now let's choose the winner for yesterday now if guys if you don't know i do give away one funder account sorry i give away two funder accounts per week on a wednesday that winner had already collected the account also, I select another winner every Sunday. I'm going to do it every Sunday and not Saturday. So, let's see who's today's winner. Ne, 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 ne. Fucky Zile, 98. Happy birthday, Rolio. Thank you, guys. And thank you once again for all the birthday wishes. Guys, don't forget, I'm also giving away some uh, uh, equipment for anybody who wants to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm giving away all of this, right? If you are looking to kickstart your YouTube career and you need equipment, the recording equipment, I will be giving away these items throughout the week as well. Now, it's very simple. All you have to do is make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you like and you comment. I will be giving away one mic. This mic I'll give away to someone. This mic I will also give away with the mixer included to anybody. Remember? You will be accountable. You will be liable for the courier fees. I will just, you know, if there is any, yeah, I'll just send it straight to you, right? Well, you know, yeah. You know what? I'll cover the fees for the courier as well, guys. Don't worry. It's not going to be right, right? But in any case, that's the winner. Guys, remember, every Wednesday, every Saturday, you can get an account. Now, let's go through the signals for Maps to Saho. Now, I'm going to do this the easy way, right? the very easy way the easy way is i want to show you guys how the signals perform relative to you how people reacted to the signals throughout the entire month of august so that you can get an idea in terms of how it went and i will also take you guys through the actual signals that has been plotted on the charts also now 
you can see it started off with nfp you guys know i don't look at nfp signals uh, that was on august the 2nd let's go good luck to everyone now you know when there's no update you normally know what that means right things are not going as anticipated then it started with this usd zos cell and you can see based of the reactions that was this one that was sent here on the 8th of august and that one just started off in a little bit of profit um there you can see we got into profit then the market went up remember spreads on exotic pairs such as usd czar it's quite big so that stop loss would have triggered um on there also right next up we've got the nasdaq 100 and you can see just based of the reactions things has not been going too good if we just go through them but like i said i'm going to show you guys all the signals that that, that i plotted there was a sell on GU. There you can there's some uh, mixed emotions over there, um, and that's basically. This was a US thirty signal, but that was not a signal. That was a setup. Now it's very it's difficult to just plot setups, and I'll tell you why I say so. It's because why people can easily decide whether they have gone for the setup or not. And what do I mean by that? It's quite simple. They can post a setup and say that I'm looking at this. And if it goes into their direction, they can just say that, hey guys, I hope you've taken it with me. And they can also just say that they haven't taken it if it's not going in their direction, which is why I don't take it. I only take the actual signals that got sent, right? Um, let's continue. There was a sell on USDJPY um, that we are going to take a look at. Also, there was a bound gold, very, very high. Uh, buy over there and then this stop loss actually got triggered now this is what i don't understand right and i'm gonna show you guys the signal this stop loss had actually triggered and you know when when they become so desperate to not even announce stop losses yet it and that is when you get multiple stop losses that did trigger now i'm gonna say this again okay i'm gonna say this again before i sniff some glue i'm just joking guys but i'm gonna say this again right I have done many reviews for him and I've given him many, many, many props. Unfortunately, I will be lying to all of you if I come here and I lie to you and I tell you that August has been a good month for him also, right? So I'm giving you guys the information for anybody who would like to join. His signals are not that bad overall. August has been horrible and hopefully people survived with their accounts, but Okay, Tosaho FX, please be advised. My personal number belongs to Maps has been act. I, I don't understand. I saw um Bandile also. Yes, he's he's a kind like how do you guys' accounts get act? Era? Is it is it is it um uh, the FX goats coming after you guys? I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys. Any case, uh please note that we have two WhatsApp group chats for signals, okay, and then So, yeah, he's explaining about a 15 account that he was growing, right? He did say that the account has blown, and I have to give him credit for being so transparent. There's other people that are lying so much. Yes, my friend Nasdaq Ninja as well, which I am not going to talk about, right? We, we, are, we are not going to talk about him. Congratulations on the new car, um, Nasdaq. Congratulations, bro. So now you've got, like, what, four cars? The Golf 7... The one that you were going to give away, that you never did. The Golf 8, that we no longer see. The Mercedes, and now you have the the BMW. Is it a BMW? Yeah. Well done, bro. We are, we are rooting for you. In any case, August the 19th, there was a sell on Euro USD. Uh, another sell on Gold. We had uh, Gold is in profits. I don't know why <laughs> this guy is upset. But I'm going to show you guys all the signals now, right? Sell on the Dow Zones. That sell was very good, I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't know what maps went through. Look at that week there. It's one ugly week. I, d I don't know what maps went through for August, but it was not very, very good, right? Sell USDR. USDR is an item. Um, USDR is very expensive in terms of uh, prices because it's an exotic it's an exotic pay yo this arm is i don't know guys i don't know um okay cool and then august the 23rd there was some blue screens final wrap on guys do not get intimidated by these blue screens right yeah this is the most confusing signal buy gold now 
Gold rejected cut losses. Losses cut but initial gold entries in deep blues. Okay. Any case, we move. We move. There was another bound gold. The gold pushing impulsively. Let's hop into the spies now. Entries. And good morning. It's cooking. Todd buy gold. Uh, sell euro cat. Gold making the deep blues. I think this order got. Can you see? So that came very close to eating the stop loss. Now we have to be honest. Okay. We can debate about that because why? Depending on what broker you use, you know, could be taken out by spreads. We know brokers like to do that, right? So that was all the signals. I'm going to show you guys. So there we had that uh, USDZR trade on uh, the 8th of August. Here we had, remember TP is open, right? Here on the 15th of August, we had this uh, another sell on gold. Sorry, on USDZR. The market went and that stop got triggered. So we're now counting. If we're counting... Um, that's two that we got over there and then we've got three over here uh, and then there were some signals on the nasdaq now like i said tp is open so you can decide if anybody would have held on to these trades long enough um, in, in order to be profitable right yeah we got into a little bit of profit before the market uh, made a u-turn on the nasdaq 100 and then we're going to go over to GBP USD. I believe there was two signals that was uh, sent for this currency pair. And this is the first one. Um, here we go. There. Boom. Stop loss got triggered. Um, and okay. That that was that one. Then we had some trades on the USD JPY. Um, let's go back quickly. I'm not using a mouse, guys. Remember, I need another OTG cable for the mouse also because I'm using the one on the mic. Uh, Monday, the 12th of August, there was a sell on USD JPY, which did not go as anticipated. I think next time I must just do it the other way around. Gold that has had the most signals. Um, gold has had the most signals. Okay, first gold signal was a stop loss. Second gold signal was into a little bit of profit, then a stop loss. This one got into a little bit of drawdown there, got into profit, then started to spike up. This was a very good trade that was taken on the 23rd of August. This was a bad stop loss that got triggered. Um, again, stop TP is open, so you don't know where they were closing it. So just look at the signal, how far it went into profit um, to determine whether it's something that you would like to part your money with or not. That was a stop loss, stop loss. This was a good trade, well, a good trade in terms of profit. Um, next up, we're going to take a look at that Euro USD trade, which was sent, which was this one over here. And here we go, right? So this trade uh, got into a little bit of profit there, u turned um that stop loss got triggered and this is another one that that stop loss got triggered so you guys can see that this month we have had more stop losses triggered than anything else for him and hopefully this month we are on september now it's gonna be better and hopefully nobody had blown their accounts well you would have blown your account depending on how much money you have right because that is a downright 12 13 percent straight down there uh, with a TP open, it's very difficult to see what percentage gain there was. Other than that, you can't judge someone based off one month. You have to do it recur, 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 recurringly. And I have done it to say so. It was a bad month before he did, you know, he didn't do that bad. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for your time. And as always, cheers for the years.